All right, we're gonna do a parking lot test of the Artvid, Artviz, I, I can't even pronounce it, uh, robotic suitcase. So we got a little space here while we're supercharging, or I should say space and time, a few minutes at least. So I'm gonna try the self-following, uh, remote control, and ride on. We're gonna start with remote control and self-following and see how, many, how much of a fail <laughs> the ride-on version is. So, we've got the battery here. It's pretty large, but pretty light. It says it's uh, 80.1 watt-hours. So we're gonna take that. Oh yeah, and it doubles as a USB battery bank. Slide that in there, press it in. Then we turn it on. Power button. And the screen will light up. We got 100% charge. I'm gonna put that down. Now, I, I only have a few uh, pieces of paper and, a, and the battery charger in here, uh, so there's not too much weight. So it's a, gonna be a little more tippy without any weight to really hold it down. So now remote. All right. The little doggy picture there, you press that, it's the self-following. And that one there is the ride-on or remote control. And if you press the ride-on multiple times, there's three different speed levels indicated by the flashing light. We're gonna start off with slow, especially since there's nothing in it. Now one thing, it does not have a reverse. Even if you pulled the control backwards, there's no reverse. Right, left, or straight. And I suppose you guys are gonna to wanna to see it. So the range is pretty good. I mean, if you're really not gonna want a suitcase too far away from you. And lost. I guess range is okay, pretty good to okay. Depending on which way the suitcase is facing and the antenna. Um, when the handle side's facing you, the antenna for the Bluetooth, because this is all Bluetooth, is kind of blocked by the battery. All right, that's me medium speed. problem mostly is there's no weight inside there. I don't have really have any stuff in there. Now we're going to do the self-following. So I'm going to switch the control to following. And now even if I put the control in my pocket, it should follow me. This works surprisingly well. I don't know how well it would be in a crowded airport. It stays pretty close. Top here, it's got a 180 degree proximity sensor. So even with the control in my pocket now, the app works pretty much the same as the control does, only you don't need the control. But with the app, it, at least so far, I gotta play with it more. I can't do the follow me. So next, the fun one. Now, I'm a little heavier than what should be on here. I'm a little over 200 pounds. And this is a slanted, uneven parking lot. Now, on a flat, say, airport or a flat surface, like a, a good, nice sidewalk or something, this should be pretty, pretty good. But I'm going to try 
riding the suitcase. With my heavy butt on there, it couldn't quite go uphill. Let's try it again. I gotta put out the highest speed to, to get enough power to move me. Well, I think we're going to call it. Um, I'm actually going to be heading to San Antonio at uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow. I'm going to take this with me and actually try it out in the airport. See you then.